Hey YouTube, what's up? Bailey here again with another webisode, I guess we'll call them webisodes, of Jazzy Time. Now that we've got our hands all jazzed up from our nail tutorials, we're going to put those hands to work. And today, like I promised, we're going to make matchbox rockets. And later we're going to go shoot them off outside and see if they actually work because I'm a little skeptical, to tell you the truth. So, to make these, you're going to need a regular box of matches from your hardware store or dollar store. I've dumped all my matches out because when you're done, all your stuff fits right in this little box so you can take it with you. And you're also going to need a bamboo shish kebab skewer stick. You're going to need to actually, there's a little bit of online work. You have to go on to kingofrandom.com. I'll put the link down below. Don't worry. And you're going to get the match rocket stencil. And now this comes with this on the top of the paper. And what you do is you cut it out and it looks like this. Oh good, my camera's working. Whoop! It would be great if it was right side up, huh? And you cut it out, you lay it on, um, say like a cereal box type of cardboard. Cut it out, and I uh, taped the stencil to my cardboard because you're also going to need this little, um, the writing here for the match head, and this is how you're going to roll your rocket, and I'm going to show you guys how to. Um, you're also going to need an X-Acto knife, a pair of scissors, marker or a pen, some aluminum foil tape. I got this at, I'm from Canada, so for people from around the world, your local hardware store, um, I got mine at Canadian Tire for rounding up to $7, and uh, it works pretty good. Um, I had a hard time peeling the sticky stuff off the back, but... Uh, yeah. And you're also going to need a tea light candle, regular aluminum foil, one sheet or two sheets, doesn't matter. It all depends on how many you're cutting out. A uh, paper towel. Um, you're going to need a regular cup and a sock to actually line your cup with because it makes it a lot easier when you're cutting off the match heads. And I had this little container that I made also from the um, the king of random.com. He actually has a lot of great videos. I'm actually gonna try and show you guys a bunch of his stuff. Um, but this is just a little um, canister that's made out of just like a uh, credit card I've cut a circle out of, and then just two tops of some bottles, and then you just kinda glue it together, and this becomes your container. You see that? Your container for all your match heads. Okay, so I'm going to um, move the camera a little bit and we're going to get started. Hi there. You can see my camera's not moved because I couldn't find the right angle for it. So we're going to keep this awesome angle and I'm just going to show you guys what I'm doing, per se. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken a strip of aluminum foil. And I have put on one side of it the paper towel, as you can see. And I've just folded it a few times. And the paper towel makes it a lot easier to cut out more of the stencil at once without it sticking together or ripping. So I have taken my stencil, laid it out, and I'm going to magically cut these out and turn them into little rocket sheaves. See how magical that was? Oh my goodness. So what I've done is I've just followed my stencil and I've cut it out. Now, as you can see, in between I have, you know, it goes layers and layers and layers. And the paper towel is awesomely awesome at uh, preventing your aluminum foil from sticking together. And oh my gosh, guys, I just realized I didn't tell you 
what the exacto knife was for because i'm just so excited i want to go outside and shoot these things off so bad um you're going to use your exacto knife to um trace your little stencil out on your cardboard to cut it out properly don't use scissors because as you can see my little this is for the fin for the tape i'll show you that and i kind of hooked it up because i tried to use scissors and wasn't listening to the king of random so so i have a few of these little sheaves here i'm going to call them and this is going to be like the body like the body of your rocket so you set these aside take as many match take as many matches as you want and use your scissors to um cut the heads off but when you're cutting them off do it into the sock because the sock prevents them from jumping out and you can cut as many as you want um i didn't cut a whole lot because it does take a little bit of time to actually snap through these things because believe it or not they're pretty tough for little sticks of wood yeah um so now i really am going to adjust the camera angle so i can show you guys how to properly roll these out and uh, cut the bamboo skewer for your launcher okay Okay, so also on the uh, the stencil that you get offline. Now, when you download this, it is a free download, and it goes to your email. Check your junk mail, because that is exactly where it goes. It does not pop up in your regular inbox. Okay. Sorry. I'm so unprepared sometimes. So, now you're going to take your skewer onto your... I hope you guys can see this. This is like... Horrible, horrible lighting. And you're going to line it up with this here. And it shows you where to make your marks and where to cut it to make your stick the length that it's supposed to be to fit inside the box. And when you're done, this becomes this little doodad. And then this is what's going to help you roll your rocket and uh, turn it into awesome funness so now now I kind of don't exactly lay it right on top I kind of lay it over to the side just so that I can just so that I can um, see where my stick is supposed to be and my mat head is supposed to be so don't like lay it right over top and about it to the side just so that you can see your lines. And then you lay your stick. Take a little match head. Put your little stencil away. And then rolling it is the hard part. And you want to keep it as tight to the bamboo stick as possible. Yes, it is kind of difficult, but once you start, once you get that first roll, then you can kind of roll it in your hands. And still just make sure that your skewer is in contact with your match head. Because that makes all the difference. And then... Whoop, and then when you're done, kind of like, you know, just twist it into the stick. Because sometimes, you know, aluminum foil is loose and weird. And then at the very top, you're going to pinch it flat. And then kind of, you want to fold it down. And then it says to use, um, like, a needle nose pliers, but I'm jazzy. I'm going to use my teeth. Awesome. And just pinch it. One way and the other way a couple of times just because you want the end to be closed off and you don't want the match head to like shoot out the end and have the aluminum stay on the stick you want the whole thing to fly because it's supposed to go like 40 feet 
And then you're going to take your aluminum foil tape. And now this rocket requires you to cut out a bunch of these squares. That's what the square is for. It's for the fin. But I find the tape, if you just take it off and fold it in half and then kind of just measure, you get perfect fins. So after you're done cutting it, you're going to get a little square like this. And the hard part is folding it. Oh my goodness, is it ever hard. So you want to fold it in half like a little triangle. Open it up. Fold it in half again. So you have a little diamond shape. And then I don't know if you guys have ever made like an origami crane, but you have to kind of like fold it into itself. So like pinch your corners and then bring them together and then fold it in half. And then if it's kind of like off, it's cool to trim it because you want it to be flat. And then you're also going to cut just a little bit of the end off so that you have something that looks like this. And this is going to be our fin for our rocket. And now, like I said, it takes me a little bit of while to take the uh, adhesive off, so I will be right back. Hold on one jazzy second. Okay, so I finally got the adhesive off with the help of my tweezers. Now, when you pull it off, it does straighten back out, but you still have your little bendy lines. So, kind of pinch it just a little so that it kind of goes back into that little shape that we just had um, earlier. And, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Please stay, please stay. Okay, cool. Because <laughs> um, you want this little opening. Now when you go to put it on your rocket, don't put your rocket up this way because the adhesive is going to stick to the stick. You want to put it in the opposite way against it, I guess, and bring it up onto your rocket. Just a little higher than the bottom because you want it to kind of like be up just a smidge. And then grab two sides of your fin and push them together. Awesome. And there you have a little match head rocket. Perfect. And now I'm going to, um, I'm going to put together the rest of these and then we're all going to go outside and fire the rockets. So I almost forgot to show you guys before we go outside. The awesome thing about this is you have your little silveries and your stencil and your pre-cut little fins. And all your little rockets. Now I've only made a couple. Plus my one that I have loaded here. And your little container that you have keep your match heads in. And the candle all fit in your little matchbox. Which is... Oh no! <gasps> okay, I lied. My little thingy does not fit this matchbox but I can force it a little because we're jazzy like that right right so now I'm going to take this little rocket outside and we're gonna actually see if we can get it to go the top 40 feet that the video says it does so if y'all want to join me let's go hey guys so we're out on my balcony and hopefully this thing flies. So I have the little candle up underneath the edge because we want it to heat up the edge of the rocket. So hopefully it'll fly. Oh. 
Come on. Ah. Dud. Okay, so take the two. I got a new stick and a new rocket. Hopefully this one works. Oh my god! That was so awesome! Oh my god, I have to do it again. <gasps> just for y'all, just for y'all. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. He failed to mention that some are duds and some actually go. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to reload. Here we go. This isn't turning so good. Okay, number five. <sighs> One out of five, guys. Never always believe what you see on the computer. Okay guys, so I went back inside and I made three more because I'm so hopeful I really want these to fly and I really took my time. It took me like five minutes to make three of them, so hopefully these things fly properly. Here we go. They're dead. Another dead. I'm not liking this experiment too much. So I'm just gonna let it sit on the very edge of the stick. Hopefully it flies. Barely off the stick. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna give it a sad face because that totally sucked. Let's all go back inside. So. In conclusion, oh, by the way, this person right here, this is Crash, by the way. He might appear in other videos. Love you, Crash. Uh, yeah, so uh, not too terribly uh, happy with all these dud rockets. Uh, one out of eight. I give that a big <laughs> sad face. Uh, so that... Is not so jazzy. Uh, anywho, uh, that was the awesome science experiment I had planned for you, but uh, it wasn't that awesome. At least we did have one fly, so we had kind of a success. Um, the next science experiment I'm going to try is um, actually going to be a battery made with pennies, cardboard, and some LED lights. So we're gonna give that a shot. And also stay tuned for my next video, I'm going to do a face paint tutorial. Hopefully you all like it. Anyway, see you guys later. Stay jazzy.